Alright, so very quick heads up. These are the mods that we currently have active. We have the uh, Alpha Birth API that we need, the two Alpha Birth, Alpha Birth mods, God Mode Still Birth, and the Room Balance Tweaks, and the Anti Birth soundtrack. That is it. The reason for that is to try and avoid crashing and whatnot. Uh, I did test this yesterday, seemed fine, but then again, I tested it before the last Isaac stream, and it broke, so I don't know if this is gonna work, <laughs> but we'll give it a try. Now, it might crash initially here, I don't know. And hello, chicken tendies. How you doing, buddy? Your day started out fine, but then you got home and you got bad news about your aunt. Damn, I'm sorry to hear that, Nikki. That sucks. If you want to talk about anything, you let me know. Alright, so... We're eating. Ooh, okay, so we got good damage. Pretty good rate of fire, better than average. About average speed. Our range is, a, I think, actually maybe slightly above average as well. Our luck is the only thing really that's bad. We should have a decent amount of hearts considering we have the Sin Robes and we have Book of Revelations. So that's pretty damn good. Right, there is our seed FLX0GWKS. And yes, I just woke up as per usual, so I'm going to stumble over my words like a moron. Alright, Blessing of the Guide and Curse of the Unknown. So we can't see our HP because of the curse, and we can see the map, or at least the compass effect, because of Blessing of the Guide. I think the blessings are part of stillbirth, but don't quote me on that. Alright, Nikki, fair enough. Uh, let's try going to... You know what? No, I'm going to the curse room. Screw everything. I'm going straight to the curse room. Again, part of room balance tweaks is to make curse rooms, like, really only very slightly better, because it's not like they're bad, but I do I do think they needed a slight boost. Slight. And it does seem to be slight, so that's good. Uh, you see, you know, for example, getting, like, half a soul heart there. I think normally we wouldn't in this situation. Instead of just getting a button that will probably screw us over, we got half a soul heart. Let's try the button. It didn't screw us over. It didn't help us at all, but it didn't screw us over. So it still cost us half a heart to go in here, but that's better than the full one. So again, just just a, just a tad more balanced. I'm just glad. Ooh. Ah. Oh. I was like, oh, it's going to blow up. It's like, well, yeah, but it doesn't actually do anything for me. It didn't even open the rocks, and we can get in there anyway because of the fire. Uh, so there's two keys and a bomb. I don't think there's anything we can really do. Uh, I mean, obviously, we can trade a bomb for a key. Actually, I just realized it's too feisty, so we don't even need to do that right now. Sweet. Right, let's have a quick look. Do I see a tainted rock? No, I don't. Right, in that case, let's go to the treasure room. Wig. Wig is good. Like the wig. We will hit the buttons, but they'll probably suck. Ooh, okay. I wonder if it affects the buttons. That's a good question, because, you know, I complain all the time how bad the buttons are, and how very rarely they pay out. I don't think there's anything in there that changes the buttons. I know it changes, like, the angel deals to be way better. Maybe a little too good, to be honest, but still. I know it affects uh, the curse rooms very slightly, and I want to say, uh, you know the, like, bloody sword rooms where you have to fight waves of bosses? I know it affects those so that basically there's never just a grey chest in there. I think the way he described it, or she, I don't know what gender the, the modder is, but basically, they said something like, Hello, Dave Cobra, how you doing, dude? They said something like, uh, when there would normally just be a grey chest, there will be at least a gold chest, I think is the way they said it. So, that's good, because don't know when we'll fight two bosses for a bloody grey chest. That's ridiculous. Who's Jason? That's me. Did you did you genuinely not know that? <laughs> Hello, Nasher Cheese. How are you, buddy? Boop. All right, let's go to... Do we want to go... Hmm, hmm... Let's not go to the shop yet, because let's be honest, we only got one key, we don't have much money, and that's good enough reason. Let's go explore the rest of the floor. I think I hate this room. Thank god we had a couple of spiders. Even then, what the hell is that guy doing? What's what's he doing? Where's he going? But buddy? I mean, I guess he's supposed to be like brain damaged because his brain's hanging out. Oh, and the brain drops. That's a cool enemy, I like that. Swallowed penny and a single coin? You shouldn't have, you generous, generous bastards. Made it to the best stream on Twitch. Let's get some hype. Well, I don't know if I can be hype yet because I haven't woken up yet, but thank you. You are very kind, Nasho. It's not true, but you are very kind. Uh, since we have a gold key, we will go check this out. Do I want to buy the soul heart? I think we should be fine right now. Uh, do I want the key instead? Do I want the bomb? Do I, I don't know. I don't know if I want any of this. What I will do... Since the secret room is probably here, and we'll at least blow this dude up as well. Let's do that. Yeah, okay, he dropped nothing, but... Okay, so it's one of the ones with the beams of light. And yes, I've noticed your flies and spiders suicide on the beams of light, so apparently they're considered, like, you know, enemy entities. A little strange from the program inside of things. Ooh. Free soul heart, like it. 
You're doing the daily even soy milk. Ooh. Why'd you pick up soy milk? <laughs> it's only to the foot. Ah, okay. That's right. I need to do the daily at some point because we need to need to remember to knock those out. We don't have to play them, but we may as well, right? There's not really that much point suiciding. Even if this guy gives us a nickel, we're not going to get enough money to afford Hive Mind. And Hive Mind would be really good with a wig now that I think about it. So we should do everything we can to try and get enough money to afford that. Oh, I just rather got two diamonds. What am I doing? I mean, I'm literally carrying two diamonds. You're an idiot, Jason. <laughs> like, geez, how are we going to get the rest of the money? <laughs> oh, sometimes. All right, so we will get Hive Mind because, again, it works really well with the wig. Uh, so before we do that, I will try and get the nickel. Because if we... Oh. Oh, yeah, that's right. He's in here. Because if we are going to double our money, we may as well double an extra five cents. If it worked, which it didn't. Fine. Double it. Grab Hive Mind. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. We are out of bombs, though. What does the book do? It gives you a soul heart every time you use it. Which is really, really handy. By the way, check out our hairstyle. That's pretty sweet. There's a mod for, like, more Eden hairstyles and stuff like that. Uh, I'm just trying to limit the mods that we're using right now to essential ones that add, like, a lot of content and stuff. That's why I have a lot of them turned off at the moment. You know, again, to avoid crashing and avoid them, you know, negatively affecting each other and blah, blah, blah. And, and also, because for some reason, if I have, like, more than five mods on, we get some weird lag in, like, really just niche circumstances, like when the blood effect happens after after mom's foot, for example. Now, with these mods on, it didn't seem to cause any lag. Holy crap, we have a lot of HP. So we start with two soul hearts. We got three from the sin robes, which was our passive item that we got, you know, just for being Eden. And then we got four more from the book. So we only would have initially had two hearts, but now we're on uh, nine. Yeah, I can count. That's, uh, that's a lot more than two. This, this could look a lot different if we didn't start with the Book of Revelations and the uh, Sin Rose. We could have had really crappy starting items. Alright, I like this. Got plenty of HP. This is a nice feeling. And now we've got giant spiders of death. So I know the spiders do triple your tier damage. With Hive Mind, I think they might be double that or something? And if they are, so that's like six times my tier damage per spider. If Hive Mind doubles their effectiveness. It might be like 50% or something. Either way, that spider's going to hit like a truck, basically. Because our damage is not that bad. 4.25 is not horrible on the second floor. It's not, you know, like blowing the doors off or anything, but it, it is not bad. It is quite dark in this room. It is quite dark. Well, on this floor, I guess. That'll be, you know, burning basement curse of darkness for you. Yoink. Right. So, it's the one more room, and then, sure. I don't think we get too charged out of this. We may as well do this now. Uh, that is a modded enemy, and those things are freaking terrifying in small rooms. Some of the mods are a little imbalanced and stuff like that. Sometimes you get those big ass balls of flies just in the smallest rooms. And it is scary as hell. You know, unless you have a lot of damage, you're gonna get screwed. Soy milk? What about soy milk? Alright, let's go back and grab this. We are almost at full HP. That's kind of crazy. And we will be guaranteed to deal with the devil here. Because we can't possibly take red heart damage because we don't have any. So that's nice. Uh, again, we could go for Angel Deals since the Angel Deals are good now, but I'd rather just, you know... Basically, if the Devil Deal sucks, by all means, we'll probably skip it just to see what, what's going on with the Angel. But if it's good, I'm taking it, right? Like, more like a gift horse in the mouth, especially when you've got a lot of HP to afford said deals. You know, if we were poor in HP or the deal sucked, sure. If that's not the case, seems like a good idea to take it. Uh, this dude here with these, like... I think these guys, like, drag their head behind them or something. Yeah, oh, there he goes. Yeah, pretty much. And then, if you unleash the body, the head just... It doesn't do what it normally does. It doesn't, like, float. It just, like, actually slides along the ground, creating blood and still shoots at you. It's cool. It's like, you know... It's basically they just use two enemies that already exist, but... In an interesting way. At least I think so. I'm gonna leave that there. I will go in here. Uh, I would like the battery. Battery would be nice. Not essential, to be honest, but it would be nice. Well, certainly not essential what we have, anyway. But, uh... Still wouldn't be a bad thing, so we could at least store up an extra heart if we got to that point. And right now, we're doing so good on HP, it seems kind of likely. Yeah, get dunked on. Wait a minute. Don't think any of those are tinted. I can actually see the stream preview. Put it this way, it is brighter for you than it is for me, because I actually have, like, uh, the saturation up a little bit. It's for events like this. So it's actually, wait, it's actually a little darker for me than it is for you. Alright, we'll fight the boss now. Me as well. Because we have a lot of HP, I am going to go... Aww. See, I'm gonna go and be a little bit risky with the, the cube of meat. Come, come back. I can't hit you if you keep running away, you little bastard. Ah, We took half a heart. That's fine. I don't know what that is. Probably a space brine. We'll grab it in a second. Go ahead. All right. Deals are sorted.
Pepper spray, it's dangerous to go alone. Puts up a fire rate, a ton. Okay. Is that all it does? Maybe? I don't know. Also, I like the dangerous to go alone. That's a Zelda reference. Do we have two batteries, or is it just the one? I thought there was another one over here. Was there not? I don't see it. Alright, I guess it's just one. I really, I swear there was one on this side of the map. Uh, we may as well go to the curse room. Again, since they're apparently a little better. Not much. Yeah, that one kind of sucked, but whatever. At least they're good flyers, because, you know, hive mind. Uh, so we're not going to get another two rooms to charge this, unfortunately. So we may as well just pick this up now. Again, still good in HP, and we've got guaranteed deals for the rest of the game. I would like that bomb, but there's nothing we can do about that. Uh, yeah. yeah. We went in the shop, didn't we? Let me double check. I can't remember what was in there. I think it was like battery, broken modem. Yeah. I mean, like, I could essentially spend five cents to get another soul heart by way of the battery. Like, the small battery. Uh. Can I do it by the bomb? Yeah, I think I will buy the bomb. We'll buy the bomb. Because we've been kind of bereft of those. Hello, Azu. How are you doing, buddy? How are things? How was Dark Souls yesterday? Okay, just here to lurk and farm in Warframe. Ah, okay, so you're back on Warframe. How's that going? Blessing of Enlightenment. I don't know what that does, because I can't see any of their map, and that would that would make sense to me, right? Like, you're enlightened because you can see the map, but nope. So, it beats the hell out of me. This room, kind of crappy, but thankfully we got some good stuff here to uh, take it out. Alright, steady on, son, steady on. Alright, get up. That dude is huge. Again, I think the, the giant champions do like two full hearts of damage. We really don't want to get hit by that guy. Holy crap. Come here, buddy. There you go. A lot of dudes that explode into bullets. A lot of dudes. No pill, no nothing. You suck. Dark Souls was great. Was great. I am glad. Uh, a little trap in there. Oh, God. There was an invisible guy. I didn't even see him until I walked into him. Well, not invisible. He's not literally invisible. Um, crap. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I was really jammed in there. Buddy, just back up. I was actually about to try and use those, uh... You know, the... The bombs to try and get that tinder rock. Turned out I didn't need to. Path Row, really good rune, very handy. Especially since we're gonna get another devil deal here, so... Sucks we can Path Row it. And statistically... Well, no, it's not fair. I was gonna say statistically it'll probably suck. That's not true. It's about, like, 50-50. Maybe sort of, like, 60-40 or something in favor of being good. And then, you know, you get, like, Brother Bobby 40% of the time, that type of thing. Not bad. Patru essentially is like the D6, but one use. So it lets you reroll pedestal items in the room. So if we get, like, Brother Bobby and Sister Maggie from the Devil, we can reroll it and then maybe turn it into Brimstone or something like that. We still have to pay for it, but let's just reroll it. So milk is actually one of my favorite items. The synergies are awesome. You're a crazy man. A crazy, crazy man. I don't hate it as much as most people, but I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> is is a good way of putting it. It's like, I don't like it, but I don't hate it. I do think it's okay sometimes. But the majority of the time, I don't like it. Chemical peel. We're actually going to get a charge out of this room. That's nice. Chemical peel is decent. Why do we have a... Where did this come from? Oh, okay, it's a health up. That's nice. I've... Where did the... Like, where did the pill come from? Does chemical peel drop a... No. Does it make sense? Maybe from the pepper spray? No. No, I don't know. Uh, now, I know one of the um, one of the mods, I think it's still birth, said it balances like the boss room pool, and I I don't know what that means. So, well then again, that's a treasure room, that's not the boss room pool. I don't know where I'm getting, where I'm going with this, but uh, I'm just confused why there was a pill there. I'm sure someone knows, but I have no idea. King Baby is just like, wank. Like, frankly, he is bad. I don't like him. Why is the achievement symbol crossed out? Because the mods, yes. Uh, you cannot get achievements while you have mods active. That's why when we do the daily challenge, you can't even play the daily challenge with mods on. Because, uh, like, it just wouldn't work. But uh, when we do the daily challenge, we have to turn the mods off anyway to make sure we can actually get the, uh, like, the achievement eventually for playing, like, 31 of the bastards. Again, I don't know how many we've done. I, I would suspect 15-ish. Probably not much more than that. Could use two... But, well, no, one bomb would work, I think. I think. Yes. Okay, and then we can use the other bomb here, and then... When did I do that? I can already get to my garden! That was really dumb, but that's fine. It's fine. It's not yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It was dumb, but it's fine. What we did was waste the bomb. 
I've made much bigger mistakes. Ah, yeah. I've made much bigger mistakes in the Binding of Isaac. That's the sort of thing you do when you are half asleep. I'm gonna use that as my excuse anyway. Hello, Gilthorn. I'm doing good. How are you, buddy? Oh my god, how much green crap all over the floor, sir? I'd like to get to you and murder you, and you're making it quite difficult. What is he doing? What is he doing? No! Okay, steady on. Jesus. Cool, alright, keep me, I like it, and... Yes. Yes, we will take Abaddon. Um... I do want a little delirium as well, because he's, he's cool enough, right? So, the way you do this is you do that, and then you just pay three hearts for this, because it gives you like six back anyway, so... Basically, full HP either way. Cool! Uh, we went to the treasure room, we have been to the shop, I can't remember what was in there, because I'm apparently really bad at paying attention today. I strike King Baby. Mm-mm, buddy. Mm-mm. Uh, if we get enough money, I'll use that machine to re-roll with our bomb. I suppose we could per throw it. Uh, I don't think it's worth using on the shop, especially when there's a re-roll machine in there anyway, though. Alright, you are doing okay-ish. Oh, that's right. You, That was Nikki. You're doing relatively good, I'm glad. Uh, hopefully you'll be doing better than relatively good. But I'm glad you're at least relatively good. There is a pill over there. Let's have a look. Why is my phone vibrating? One second. Oh, it's a comment on YouTube. Alright, that's fine. Uh, hmm. To an alignment, curse of, curse of champion. Oh, that's right. That's what that does. It makes every enemy a champion. Somehow I didn't even realize we had that curse. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get enough money. Ugh. I mean, like, maybe we could get enough from uh, either the, the sword room down there or from blowing up that little dude. But he's unlikely to give us... Well, no. Uh, I'm just going to save my money, basically. You know, there's a reroll machine in there, it's tempting, but with our only bomb, kind of why bother, right? We will go in here, though. Give me gapping. Holy crap. Alright, I don't need those, but thank you. I suppose we can always go back in there for the cost of one heart to get, what's it, like three still in there? That, that's a lot. Maybe even should have left the fourth one. Because we only got half a heart out of it. Alright, we're doing tons of damage. I love it. I love it. Hopefully we get to see some of the new floors or the new stuff. Uh, you know... I don't want to spoil what the new floors are exactly, but there are some new floors. I found the pills, we're looking here. Ah, it's tempting, we might do that. And a bomb beggar. Hmm, also tempting. Sure, sure, let's do this. I don't think Mystery Sank is worth pothering. It's good enough. It's not, you know, incredible, but it can be pretty good. Does anyone know what the Addictive Pill does? I mean, I could look it up. I've been trying to figure it out. Because, you know, I like to... I like to figure things out before I just you know, go and look at them up. But as many times as, I, as I've had it, and I've had it quite a few times, I still have no idea what it does. Like, I think it's a bad pill, but I don't know why. Like, I'm trying to even hazard a guess what it would mean. Like, okay, addicted. I, I, I got nothing. I have no idea what it does. Okay, that's pretty sweet. That last chest was pretty good. Alright, uh, yeah, it's tempting just to blow these, yeah, screw it, let's just blow them up. We, how did that miss? How did that miss you? We might blow up the Devil Judgment, or we might play him with a bunch of soul hearts, since we have a few. Actually, well, no, I don't really want to place the, waste the black hearts. Addictive makes you take one heart damage from each hit on the room. Oh, okay, and just for the room, oh. That's really not that big of a deal, then. Especially since usually you're going to take a pill at the end of a room. I mean, sometimes you take it during the room, but not often, and that's usually just a bad idea. You know, you could get paralysis or something like that. Yeah, that seems almost redundant that it even exists, to be honest with you. But sure. Uh, troll bomb, alright, fine, I don't really care. Okay, we could trade a bomb for that. Hey, free secret rooms. That, I like. Sure. We will trade a bomb for this. Why do I have a little angel dude following me? What the hell, who are you and where did you come from? Oh, that's, uh, that's a little delirium. I was <laughs> like, what the crap? Because he's white, like, no matter what he is, he just looked like a normal angel. I was like, when did I get an angel item? <laughs> what the hell? Makes sense now. Gotcha. Who am I playing as? We are playing as Eden at the moment. Uh, I have the modded characters turned off at the moment, just to sort of make sure we don't get, like, lag and things like that, but we'll, we'll turn them on, like, when we want to play them, basically. Uh, right now, I'm just trying to make sure that things are working properly. This is more of a test run than anything. Oh, God. Oh my god. That bit of secret room down there, that would have been the greatest shot of all time. It wasn't, because it wasn't. But still. 
It could have been, right? Okay, that was really close to me getting it. Give my sweet, sweet. Sure, we'll take this now. We can always trade it away unless it's Krampus. It's not. We'll put through these. Brimstone. I mean, like, why turn down Brimstone, right? It doesn't show up that often. Yeah, it's really powerful, but we were pretty damn powerful anyway. And it's got some cool synergies. So, we're gonna roll with Brimstone. I admit there's some things that just don't synergize with it at all, but... Again, it shows up rare enough that... I don't mind taking it. I remember in the original Isaac, Brimstone and I showed up all of the time, and I was sick of them. Like, I, unless I needed it, like, to win the run, I just wouldn't bother. Sure. Okay, more spiders, that's fine. Am I going to be playing anything later? Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. Uh, it depends how I feel. I do want to record after the stream. Like, I want to record Fable, so... We might just do a couple of hours of Isaac and then go... Play Fable? Well, you know, I might go record Fable. You ain't gonna see that until, like, until I upload it. Uh, the spiders confuse you. It does get a little confusing sometimes with some of the familiars, especially if you have a lot of them. The spiders are one of those things that doesn't really confuse my brain that much. I, really, I think because they're, like, bright blue. There's not really any enemies that look like that. But yeah, there are there are definitely things that follow you that do confuse the crap out of me. But yeah, the flies and spiders, I think, is their color really. That's not one of those things, at least for me. Oh my god. Hey, I go, stupid fat fat. Ah. Breed, why? I couldn't even kill him. Like, the spiders just murdered him before I could even charge up brimstone. All right, fine. I like I like our spider arm. It's pretty sweet. I'd like to find some more modded items. That would be nice. Cause we only got like what one so far. It was just I think it was just a tears up. And with, there is a shitload in the game. Like, I would say easily a hundred, like, new items. And some of them are super cool and interesting. Uh, we really don't need to go through... Uh, yeah, yeah, that's what we'll do. Well, that's what we'll do. Since we have a Demon Beggar there, and we do have, what, three spare soul hearts in the curse room, we're going to go play the Demon Beggar with a bunch of our hearts and then go back and get those. Looking forward to my Fable episode. Cool. Like I said, I still got to record it, but uh, that's, what I, that's what I intend to do after this room. Hey, you little bastard. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, assuming it works with Brimstone, I don't know why it wouldn't. Well, no, I kind of do, because basically what it does is, uh, how do I describe this? It gives you a chance to shoot, uh, a, like a horn tier, I think, if this is the item I'm thinking of. And then it's, it does like triple your tier damage or something. So, since we're not using tiers, maybe it just won't work at all, I don't know. I don't know. Is that happy music from the game? Yes, it is from the Anti-Birth soundtrack, which is one of the few mods I have active at the moment. Alright, I'm going down. Let me read a Zeus thingy. Jason, I just want to say, when I watched your Fable video, I just adored how your first instinct is to punch people. I can tell this is going to be a good bunch of videos. Well, thank you. <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, you let me run around and punch people in a video game, especially as a kid, and they're all going to freak out when I do it. Of course I'm going to do it. It's hilarious. Actually hilarious. So I did, like, uh, leave a comment that was basically... What the hell? Okay, buggy spikes. Someone... Will I go Magic and Fable? B probably knowing me, because I like Magic and video games, and most people don't go Magic. Oh, hey, you're in here. Good. Uh, yeah, someone did leave me a comment basically saying, like, please don't just go evil. And here's the thing. I won't, because if you watch the first episode, I, there was a couple of good deeds I did, but I kind of used them to do more evil. <laughs> like, you know. For example... Yeah, I'm not going to spoil it, but you, you, you watch the video, you probably know what I'm talking about. So, you know, if there's a chance to do a good deed and I don't see a bad solution to it, I probably will just do the good deed, because, you know, it's a quest at the end of the day. But, like, if I could screw someone over, I probably will, because way funner, in my opinion. Tempted to play the... What the hell is that? That's like an ear? Is that an ear? First Blood, Teenager in Love. Pretty sure that was an ear. So this is one of those item rooms where we can take both items. Cool. I'm gonna go play the blood bank. I would like a blood bag. Give me a blood bag! So yeah, I, I might go magic. I, I really don't know enough about Fable to give you a definitive answer to that, but maybe? Uh, pretty much what I told you in the first episode is what I know about Fable. I know you can be good or, li good or evil. I know you start as a kid and you become an adult. That's the extent of my knowledge of the game. I, I know really basically nothing else. I know it was made by Peter Molyneux, and I know that he made a bunch of promises about, like, acorns and trees growing and shit like that that never came to fruition. They did something similar with uh, Oblivion. A lot of people don't remember. That's a new item, so we'll buy that in a second. But let me just go on this tangent. Uh, originally for Oblivion, you can actually find this video on YouTube. It's Todd Howard, like, you know, the guy who always talks about, like, Elder Scrolls games for Bethesda. 
he was saying about Oblivion, like how they're gonna have like this radiant dialogue system, which they do, but their example of it was like this woman complaining that her dog was barking at something or other. None of this is in the game. Like none of this is in Oblivion. Um, and it was like a lot more natural. Whereas in Oblivion, really, the radiant dialogue system is two characters will awkwardly walk up to each other and one will go, uh, hello, how are you? The other one will be like, I'm fine, thanks for asking. I saw a mud crab the other day. Disgusting creatures. Stop talking to me! And then they'll just walk away from each other. It's hilarious, but nothing like what they show in the video. Alright, so, let's pick this up. Cologne. Rhymes with alone. Ah, oh, how depressing. It was still 25 months ago to try and play it now. Good luck, man. I, uh... I can't get it to run properly with more than, like, five. <laughs> I don't know why. But we do have five very cool ones. So there is that. Okay, you split to a lot of dudes. That's not okay. That's not okay. Alone rhymes with alone. I don't know. Oh, okay. I've got like this this cloud around me. Does it like damage people or something? Uh, I mean, use wall. It's probably too far away for me to tell. Let's try and get near an enemy. Does my cologne work on you? Yes. Okay, so it makes them love me. Of course it does. It's cologne. Makes perfect sense. We don't say cologne. We say aftershave. Uh, sure. We'll play you even more because apparently I'm a goddamn more. I'll play it once more. We gave it a try. Then what? Plenty of money for the bum, though. Feed the bum, tuppence a bag. You hurry up and pay out. I don't really know what I want. Just give me something. Just give me something. Give me. Oh no, you fucker! Oh, that was the one. That wasn't what I wanted. When I said something, I mean a troll bomb that blew me up. I mean like an item, you dick. All right, I'll take that. I can trade that away. Bastard. Absolute bastard. I'll blow these up. Why not? That's why not. All right, fair enough. Uh, let's try and fight. Oh, you're alive. Try and fight. All right, we're taking a lot of damage. Thank you. Problem solved. Let's try and find the shop, because I really want to spend up. Wait a minute, we've already found the shop. What the hell was in there? Oh, that's right, cologne. Ugh. Damn, I already went there. Got all excited, being like, oh, I got all this money. No, we already spent it. Oh, son of a bitch, stop taking damage. We found the treasure room. We found the shop. We found the secret room. Both, both secret rooms. In that case, fuck it. Let's leave. Yes, the music is now stuck in me. We'll leave that there for a second. Uh, I will take you... Sister Maggie can suck a nut, quite frankly. Sure, we'll take it. There's no reason not to, really. If we could have re-rolled it, sure, but we don't have the Perthra rune anymore. I... I mean, I know we got Book of Relations. I know we're missing a bit of HP. I know we also have the Mystery Sack. There is a reason to explore the rest of the rooms, but I'm not going to. What mod are you using that adds new floors? Um, oh look, the nest, a new floor. Great example! This one is from God Mode. And uh, God Mode adds a lot of stuff. Oh look, new enemies as well. Yeah, I just walk in that spike? Please don't I did. Oh, Jesus Christ. I thought he was dead. Okay, that was terrifying. So yes, the nest is one of the new sets of floors. Is this new music? No, I think this is anti-birth music. I could be wrong. By the way, how's the game volume? Is it too loud or too quiet? It's probably a little too quiet, if anything. That rerolls your run every floor. We'll make a... Let's have a just like a live poll in chat. Yes or no to taking the item that rerolls your run every floor. This way, if we end up dying, it's on the chat. So, uh, you know, if, you, if, if more people want me to take it than not, you tell me and I'll take it. But uh, I'm going to leave it up to the chat. It's quiet. Okay. We will turn the music up. Let me know how that is. Boop. Dave says no. Azu says yes. Hello, Hemo Schnubba. How you doing? Alex says no. <laughs> okay. So far, no is winning. I'm surprised by this. All right, don't stamp on me. Holy crap. Oh, no. Okay, I didn't get hit. That's fine. No idea, but I didn't. And when it does, uh, like I say, it uh, rerolls your whole run every floor. So all those items I have will become different items, which could be very bad or very good. We don't know. But it does it every floor. I really hate Bret Hart sunglasses. Like, it's just, it's such, it doesn't do anything, really. It just makes you like, like, okay, yeah, like, enemies can't see you sometimes when you walk in the room. Like, why do I care? Why are these spiders just standing here? That's weird. That's weird. A little buggy, you know. It's not really that surprising, because mods. Yes for fun. I think we have, like, two no's and two yeses. Oh, God, what the hell are they? Oh, jeez. I like this, it's like a, you know, it's called the nest, there's spiders everywhere, spider webs. And they've got some new spider enemies as well. I wonder if they've got new bosses. I don't, I haven't seen any yet, because I have seen the nest before. We have a lot of money. 
We should probably take advantage of that. Ooh, two diamonds. Jackpot. All right, so here's what we do. We use that. We don't use two diamonds yet. We blow this fucker up. We'll take that as well, because it's also new. I don't know what this does. Spread the light. I've had it before. Again, no idea what it does. None. We'll buy this card. Two diamonds. All right, two of diamonds. And then blow it up again. And then... Blank card, two of diamonds. Is straight broken. If we can get restock, we can essentially get infinite items here. Not really necessary, I'll agree, but we could do it. So if restock wants to show up, I'd really appreciate it. Ooh, that's really good. No, I'll buy this as well, we've got enough money. This thing will probably blow up before we get restock or anything. I knew it. I knew it. All right, so we've got Devil, Emperor. We should probably roll with, why we, hang on. What, 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 wait, wait, wait. Buy this. Actually, maybe, hmm. Yeah, let's take the Pila Duplex for now. Uh, we'll take it to the boss, see if we can double the devil items, if they're good. You can't find god mode. That's one word. G-O-D-M-O-D-E. It's really good. Sure, we can go to the curse room for free, because it's right next to the secret room. Let's go do that. Boop. Aww. 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 We might come back and play him in a minute, we'll see. Okie dokie nookie. 9-2 says yes. Alright, so what we'll do, we'll finish this floor. Uh, it seems like most people want me to take it. There's a couple that said no, but... Uh, if nothing else, you at least get to see me do a run without Brimstone. Beyond this floor, so... And hey, look at the bright side, we might reroll into a bunch of like modded items. Assuming you can, I don't see why it wouldn't work. So, I, I think it's worth thinking. I've changed my mind now. I actually vote for yes. Originally I was like, ah, fuck that. But I vote for yes. Oh my god. And why this is room? Ah, uh, yeah. I don't know why this room looks like this, but it's cool. Hey, okay, thank you. That's very handy. Boop. Okay, I'm not gonna take that because it gives you damage up and it gives you curse of darkness every floor. So unless we get the black candle or something, I want it. I don't think the white candle is gonna, you know, negate that. I, I doubt it. Really? What the hell? Ah, uh, no. See. Well, no, I suppose we could take it at the end of the floor, right? Because it would just be one more item to get rerolled. So, yeah, we'll take it at the end of the... You know, I'll take it now just so you can see what it does. But it just does give you Curse of Darkness for the whole bloody floor. It's kind of annoying. Bloom Skull damage up, evil, youthful, scared. There you go. 1.5 damage. I don't think 1.5 damage is worth... Exactly, yeah. I don't think 1.5 damage is worth <laughs> Curse of Darkness every floor. Like, I really don't. Yeah. Yeah, this is a great run, I'd like to point out. Like, this is an easy win right here, so... I suppose, if nothing else, we may add more challenge by re-rolling every bloody floor. Give me all that booty! It's a card, it's a magician. Magician is not bad with the... Uh, you know, what's it called? Oh shit, I forgot I can't come back. Oh no! <laughs> I forgot it's this floor, no! Well, fuck it, I guess we're not taking it. Don't, well, we can't leave with the uh, Emperor card, can we? Yeah, that sucks, man. Alright. Why do we get Angel Deal? Is it spread the light of the candle? I'm so confused. Let's have a look. I could double these. They're both crap. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh, that sucks, man. We'll use this. Maybe it'll teleport us. It did not. Give us a pill. Discharge. Gets rid of... Your... Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright, fine. Uh, Take the... Sure, the... Polaroid? Why not, right? I'm gonna try and... Well, no, there's no point me trying Emperor, because, like, we won't be able to get out of here. Oh, that really sucks. Oh, Jordan, how you doing? Oh, that sucks. We... I forgot it was this floor with the foot and everything. Well, fuck it. I guess whatever's back there, we can't take it. Son of a bitch. There was some great stuff back there as well. Now we don't have a Book of Revelations or anything. Which, again, might be a blessing in disguise. Because it's just going to add a bit more challenge to the run. Blessing of the Wealthy, Curse of Darkness. Blessing of the Wealthy, I have no idea. Oh my god. No, no idea what that does. None, none whatsoever. There is like one called Blessing of Duality, so all the drops are doubled. So if you get, you know, like a bomb, it's two bombs, etc. Like, looks like that, basically. That could be what, or something similar to what Blessing of the Wealthy does. I mean, it would make sense, right, if it was for drops. But I don't know. I don't know at all. I hope we get some good use out of this... Fueler duplex. Because, uh, I mean, we've been rocking it for a while now. 
That is new. I have no idea what it does. Possess shot, possess tears. Right. I think it just like does some some kind of status effect to the enemies. Maybe conf no confusion would make sense. I don't know. Maybe it, like yeah, it probably turns them against each other like the uh, the little love heart thing. That would make sense. I don't know. Like I say, I don't know. Not bad, got a headache, and your interwebs keep dying, keep derping. That sucks, man. I hope you feel better soon. You have a hangover? Is that why you have a headache? Uh, let's go this way. Oh, Jason! Stop walking into the goddamn turrets, man. It's getting a little ridiculous now. A little ridiculous. Alright, get done, come. We need HP, man. You stop taking damage. <laughs> I'm genuinely a little worried about our HP now. Oh, God, fuck me! It's like right in the doorway. Oh, it's annoying. Stop with the batteries, I can't use them with Papula Duplex. In a library or something. Hux, great pill, fantastic, I love it. If we can get another one of those, very, very handy. We'll check in here. Eh, sure, we'll do it. It's two two of these buttons. Um, I mean, bomb bag's alright. It's not, it's not the be all end all, we got a decent amount of bombs, but it's fine. It's fine. Now this guy, I think normally drops a soul heart, but since it's this kind of room, does he still do that? I really like a soul heart. No, you give me a red heart. Dick. Alright, that's fine. So is the game volume okay now? I feel like I'm shouting, actually. Let me, uh, take out my other rupees. Yeah, let me know. Is it too loud now? Because I turn it up a bit. Give me those sweet, sweet keys. Probably because you spent most of the day asleep, so you've missed three meals and not drank. Yeah, that'll do it. Oh, God, I'm hungry. I just realized, you just reminded me about food. Oh, I love food. Uh, hmm. Alright, Christ, how many dudes? I hear you. I hear you squatching around. Where the hell are you? Oh, there you are. Come here, you little squatchy bastard. Wait the... Alright, just walk into a spider. I would like those sacks. So much so, I'm gonna pay bombs. Gimme, yeah, gimme. Alright. Give me good cards, because at this point, I feel like I kind of might need some good cards. Or you can keep giving me bombs and keys that I don't really need. That's fine. You be like that. Throw a bomb, go away. Oh my god. Nah. Okay, we got a cop. It's the fool. Son of a bitch. Just want like, uh... You know, Hierophon. Something like Hierophon that might keep me alive. I can't think of another example. Hello, Von Zadian. Holy crap. It's been a while since I saw your name. How you doing, buddy? Mwahahahaha. <laughs> Dunked. Dunked again. Bloody hands. You know, I don't need your bombs at this point. I'm not gonna lie, I just don't need them. I appreciate the offer, I suppose, but I don't need them. Yo, how are you alive? Oh! I'll take those bombs, though. The other two, I don't want them. Those ones, I want. Why, I don't know. Okay, lots of bombs. That was a new enemy. I That was weird looking. Yeah. Just want a heart, man. Oh, God. This room is a little scary. Again, with I really don't know how much HP we have, but we took a lot of damage recently and not got any back. That's that's a weird champion thing. Okie dokie. All right, we still got popular duplex. Let's take on the boss. Oh, okay. Literally just fought you right outside your own boss room, but okay, sure. That's not weird at all. I mean, I know you're like a bigger version, but it literally was you. Weird man. Weird. Right, please. Okay. Yeah. Holy crap. He takes so long to kill him. Yeah, get him, weird delirium meat boy. Alright, we'll take latchkey, why not? Don't really seem that much point doubling that. Okay, so I guess we get like 50% more consumables or something. Oh, sacred heart, that's really nice. Sure, now our brimstone laser is gonna home. I just realized we could have doubled sacred heart, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> about that, but that's fine. Alright, let's teleport straight to the boss. Boop. Ahoy! It lives! Yes, this is one of the things that God Mode does. It uh, changes certainly this boss, at the very least, into a more terrifying version, though we are hitting like a freaking truck. Alright then. Please let me use Popula- You dicks! <laughs> Damn it. Oh, why? I'm like never gonna get to use this thing, am I? I'm just not. I'm just, I just gotta forget perpetually. All right, let's go up to the cathedral. All right, it's going good. I'm glad. Been good. 
Work and kid keep you busy, I can imagine. I can imagine. This is why I don't have children. That and, you know, I don't want to... I don't want children. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. The Hermit Temperance. I will take Hermit to see if we can teleport randomly, like, near the boss. Ah, uh, this does seem like... Aw, oh, that's terrible. This does seem like it might be the right way. Uh, so look at the right side. We're going to the chest so we can at least use Pupula Duplex there. Though I really should have used it to get two Sacred Hearts. But whatever. Uh, sure, we'll open these up. No, my spines are all gonna die. Oh, God, you dicks. Oh, why do they suicide on the light beams? It's so stupid. God damn it. Uh, don't need the batteries. Don't need the batteries at all. Hey, we found the boss. Holy crap. No. Thank you for killing it before it charged me. Yoink. Okay, I like this room. This is handy. This is very handy. Now we're full HP. Alright, let's go. I guess here we got a four shot this dude. Oh, not even close. Not even close. Give me more like seven? Three? No, well. We still might four shot him, but with the spiders. Four. I just wanted to be right. I just wanted to be right. There you go. Alright, in the chest we go. Now, remember you got Papula Bloody Duplex, Jason. You might order pizza. I like pizza. I had pizza yesterday, though, so. Uh, yes, uh, this is the sanctuary, so it's different to the chest. Now, I think. I think it spawns this if you're, like, doing really well or something. I don't know. I don't know how any of this is gonna work, to be honest with you. We've got double Loki swords. I don't think it's gonna do a damn thing. This is like a scarf. Be strong in the face of evil. Took my damage down a shitload. Oh, I don't like that. I don't think I want to take another one of those. Two miners, don't think it's going to do anything more than one miner. Two Book of Shadows, don't think it's going to do anything more than one Book of Shadows. So, uh, you know, we doubled some stuff at least. Should have doubled the Sacred Heart though, and now our damage is like, ramp. Because of that scarf. Gave us a lot of range. Let's be honest, we got Brimstone, we don't need range. Holy crap. Though again, our Brimstone still homes. It's pretty sweet. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, this is another one of those things that Godmo does. Super cool mod. Why does this have some of the anti-birth music? Because I have a mod on that adds the anti-birth music. Because I don't really like the music that much in uh, in rebirth or afterbirth or whatever you want to call it. Ah. All right, we're fine. Yoink. I wonder if the sanctuary is a reference or anything. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, I think those beams of light were mine, right? I think. Maybe they were his, but it looked like well, I don't know. Because Conquest can do it, but it would make sense. Like the whole, you know, be strong in the face of evil, and then we spit out beams of light when we get hit. But it equally could have just been from Conquest, but it did look like it came from me. I don't know. Yoink. Oh, no! Dick. Yeah, goddamn dick. Alright, we got a lot of bombs. Let's just try and get that heart back. And these blue fires are in every room, which might be a little OP to be honest. Like if you come here with a lot of bombs, oh, there's actually uh, there is there is actually one in there. Whoa! Got a lot of homing brimstone. Give me booty. Uh, I mean that is booty, but it's not the booty I want. Not the booty we deserve. The PC guy on the street. That sucks, man. It's right here, the shed. Well, if you are leaving, I will miss you. But uh, do bear in mind that you can turn down the stream quality with the little cog below the video. So, I don't know if you can hear me, but if you can, you can do that. But if you're leaving, take it easy, man. Look at the background, it's like... I don't know what that is, but it looks super cool. Look at it! It's so cool! Maybe the connection will fix itself. Maybe. But again, if you can hear me, just use the cog below the video try to turn the stream quality down. But yeah, take it easy, chat. Uh, damage down. Oh, I mean, it doesn't really matter that much because our damage is still pretty damn good. It was like double that until that scarf got picked up. I'm kind of doing it just to take a hit and see if the scarf pops the beams. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, it doesn't. Okay, that's disappointing. I really thought I was like, oh, I guess the scarf ain't that bad. Still, like, I think it halved our damage, which is quite something, you know? Quite something. Get dunk on. Never played any Binding Rising mods before, this shit looks crazy. It, it's very cool, yeah. This is like an old version of the final floor. Or one of the final floors. There's an old version of the Dark Room as well. I haven't been to that one though. But that one looks pretty interesting as well. Pin. Oh! Well, kind of pin. Again, 
I do think these fires should probably be removed for the most part, because if you got a lot of bombs, it's a really easy way to get your HP back. Really easy. I don't know if any of the rooms are custom here, like maybe these are just regular chest rooms. Actually, no, I don't think they are, because there's definitely been a couple where there were uh, enemies that definitely can't spawn in the chest, like this. I've never seen this room on the chest. So yeah, even the, even the rooms are custom. That's cool. It's not just like a paint job. There's probably some chest rooms as well, like in the mix. I mean, we could sit here and play this thing for like 20 minutes, but, uh, you know. Hyperbole, indeed. Yeah, this is like an alternate version of uh, Blue Baby as well. It's like a weird angel dude. We probably ain't gonna get to see all that many of the mechanics, because we're gonna kick the living shit out of him, but, uh... Yeah, here you go. Yeah, he does that. Pretty cool. He doesn't stand a chance, though. Yeah, I like this man. Like, they've done a damn good job of this. Whoa, okay, I didn't know that was a thing. Jesus. Alright. Can't do Why? Oh, the Loki horns. Wait, why is it working every time now? What the hell? Oh, it's not. Why did it happen so many times on the boss fight? I don't remember it happening that many times on the roofs before. I think the ending is exactly the same time. We'll just skip that. Okay, that was very cool. Hello, everyone. Thank you for watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, you can either support me by clicking the like button, or if you're feeling especially generous, you can head over to my Patreon page at patreon.com slash LP. And speaking of Patreon, these are the guys in the $10 plus tier this month. We have Don Lobo, Arctic Stoat, Billy Nine, Dr. Pepper Penguin, Philip Rep, aka Bebop56210, Grandpa Gus, Source of Success, Hitbox, Waffle Ball, Alaric Tower, Pedro Marquez, Rasmus, Chronix, and KP Shadow Squirrel. Again, thank you to all of those, and thank you to everybody else. It means a great deal. It really does. And I will see you next time. Goodbye!